Aloha class. I know some of you guys were really wondering about this cool dude, Blaise Pascal, and were wondering about his triangle. Okay, so I'm going to take time right now to really get you to understand it if you wanted to know it, okay? And we use it to expand a binomial, okay? It kind of saves a lot of work if we get a little crazy uh, with expanding this guy, okay? But here it goes. This is Pascal's triangle. I did miss one thing. Shame on me. Okay, it's one. Okay, and then it's one, one. If you know that, you got this whole thing ready to go. All right, and then it's a one, right? Two, one. One, three, three, one. One, four, six, four, one. One, five, ten, another ten, a five, and a one. Can you write the next line? Hit that pause button. Do it right now. Please. Please. Okay. Here it is. One, six, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. Now, why is this important? Well, it really helps us expand something like x plus y to the fourth power. Okay? Boom. I would use that one. Why? Because that 4 matches up with that 4. That'd be squared. That'd be cubed. That'd be to the fourth, to the fifth, to the sixth, so on and so forth. Okay, now how does that do to expand? These, remember, the 1, the 4, the 6, the 4, and the 1 are all coefficients. Okay, if they're coefficients, we start with a 1 as my coefficient. And then my first term of the binomial is x. So it would be x to the 4th, y, because, and then it would be y to the 0. Okay, the exponents always have to add to that exponent out there. Plus, my next coefficient would be 4. Why? 4 is my second term right there. That's my second leading coefficient. And then it would be x to the third because the first term goes down, the second term goes up. Remember, still adds to 4. Plus, what's the next coefficient? It is a 6. x squared, y squared. Can you finish it? Plus, next coefficient, 4. x, y to the third. Plus, 1, x to the 0, y to the fourth. Done! That really beats x plus 4 times x. Whoop. That really beats x plus y times x plus y times x plus y times x. That's just way too long, right? That was a heck of a lot faster. Now, it can get a little bit more difficult. Okay, so we're going to do one tough one right now, and then you'll have a nice little video you can always go back to. Okay, class? Uh, here we go. Let's get rid of that. Um, I'm going to show you something really cool here. There, look at that. Oh, sweet. And what is this right here? You be the first one to tell me what this is tomorrow. And boy, I'm going to get you some candy. Okay, if you take a look at that, that's how, when you add those guys together, right, you kind of get this little pattern. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89. That's a famous something. Let me know tomorrow, okay? And, and, and I'll, I'll get you a little bit of a candy, okay? So let, let's do uh, one more. Okay, one more bad boy. Let's do this one. Uh, I'm going to bring this back down. What if we had something tougher? Let's say, let's get a little blue. Let's say, let, let's just make it like 2x plus 3y to the third. Okay, if you notice, that's more than just a plain old x and a plain old y. Or you know what, let's, should we get crazy? Let's get a little crazy. Let's put a squared right there. Okay, um, so first let's do Pascal's. Okay, so I need that one. All right, so here we go. We go equals. We go one. And when it gets a little bit more difficult, we just put them in parentheses. Okay, there's a 2x there, so it's going to be 2x to the third. 3y squared to the zero. Okay? Plus, my next coefficient is 3. Ooh, I, you know what I should do? Pretty sweet to have these colors. 1, 3, 1, 1. I'm going to make that a 1. I'm going to make that a 3, just so you can see how we're using Pascal's triangle, okay? And I'll color it up here. So that would be 2x squared, 3y squared to the first. Plus, what's my next Pascal coefficient? Tree. And then it would be 2x to the first and 3y squared, squared, and then I apologize, but I'm going to have to come back down here 
and I go plus one. There's my one tree, tree one. Uh, and then let's finish this bad boy up. It'd be 2x to the 0. You obviously wouldn't have to write that. And 3y squared 3 to the third. Learn something new every day. Let's see if I can do this and not make mistakes. Let me know tomorrow. If I make a mistake, you're the first one to find that out. You get some bonus. Here we go. Uh, 8x to the third. Booyah. That'd just be 1, right? We didn't have to really write that. Plus, hmm, this could get tough. That's a 4. That's a 12. 4, 12, 4, 4, that's 12 times 3, so we're 36. That'd be x squared, y squared. Sure think I did that one, right? Here we go. Plus, I may have to do some work on some of these. Ooh, that'd be, I'm just doing coefficients. That's a 3 and a 2, which is 6 times a 9. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, 54. So we got 54. Would that be x? Oh, that'd be y squared. That'd be y to the fourth. Okay, and then plus my last one. Oh, that's a piece of cake. That guy goes away. Three cubed, that'd be 27. Y to the, do we add those exponents or multiply them? We multiply them to the sixth. Booyah. Problem done. Pretty sweet. Could you imagine doing that? You know, 2X plus 3Y squared times 2X. Don't even want to do it. Pascal's trying to kind of nice. Hope that helped you guys out. Hopefully it helped make a little bit more sense. I know I did it quickly in class.